be safe when we're traveling and there are things you should check immediately when you're going to head out the road. What's the number one thing? Laura, the number one thing is tires. No matter where you're going, whether it's just a trip to Salt Lake or Bear Lake or if you're going cross country, the first thing you should always check is your tires. Well, and you were telling me a story a minute ago, which I think is so common. I think of my, my car fluids. I don't think about my tires. I think about all the fluids. They do. When people are getting ready for a trip, they think, oh, let's go check my fluids, make sure they're okay and make sure I got windshield wiper. But really, your tires are the single most important thing and it all, you can do it in less than five minutes, Laura. Well, it's fantastic. And these kinds of events right now, that's Scott, tell me what's going on here today. You've missed the event, but it's a good thing for education and us to be aware. Well, we're just uh, trying to educate, you know, the public out there to let them know uh, how important it is to keep an eye on your tires as far as the shape of the tires and the air pressure and um, not to forget about your spare tire and make sure you're checking the air pressure and your, t your spares too. I'm glad you mentioned the spare. In fact, tell me what happened to you. Somebody pulled in this morning and there's a story about that. They did. Actually, everybody that's come through this morning so far, Laura, has their air pressure has not been correct. So we've had to reset everybody's. But three people that have come in, their spares have been so low that they were flat. So if they had a problem on the road, they wouldn't have been able to put their flat on. We're not thinking about these things that are so important and it's interesting you say everybody so far has needed it. A study done last year by the Highway Patrol, you had told me about that a while ago, tell me that. Right, they actually did a checkpoint up in the canyon in the winter and over 85% of the vehicles were, their tire was not safe to be driven on. So stop by, we just want to educate you, we'll check your air pressure, we'll reset it to the right specs. Either, either store, just, just drive in, it only takes a minute honk any time of the year, but especially this month because it's National Tire Safety Month, just please stop by, give us a minute, let us get you safe and back on the road. Well, I applaud Discount Tire, Christy, for you guys doing this because this is a, a, a national effort and yet it's a local effort and it's free. So why not take advantage of it? And you have goodie bags and things like that. We do. Lots of goodie bags, free Frosties from Wendy's, stuff from Gold's Gym, all the community was great. So just stop by either store, let us check your air pressure and before any trip for sure, Laura. Absolutely. So we're not talking about just today. You need to stop by whenever you're getting ready to take off to Salt Lake or whatever, wherever else you're traveling for your summer vacation. Scott, as far as tire care, there are certain things we should watch for. Well, the, the biggest thing there again is your air pressure. You know, when you come into, we can be checking for like tire wear, like an alignment being out, because your tires can actually wear, but yet your vehicle will drive straight down the road. So we can, we can, you know, it takes, like Christy said, five minutes at the very most. Do a walk around, look at the tread depth, make sure it looks like they're wearing okay. Check your air pressure, check your spare, and just there again, we, you know, we keep seeing it, but safety, it's a big safety. Well, my son and a friend took off for Salt Lake not too long ago, and it was in his friend's vehicle, and he, my son looked at his tires and thought to himself, hmm, those don't look so good, because we're kind of geared to look for that. My husband's aware of things like that. They took off anyway. They had a blowout. The police officer that helped them was not very nice. He gave this kid a riot act and said, you really need to watch those. Helped him out, of course, but... I think that most of us just don't think about those issues. I think we really don't and this all came about, Earl was asking how did this came about, but in 2001 after the Ford Explorer and those people were killed and then up here you saw the USU van, people started really becoming more aware and we decided as a tire industry that, that we really needed to educate people on how important air pressure was and getting your tread depth checked and, and one of the things we're doing, Josh talked about it last time, but if you swing by either store or here, we're going to give you a penny because you can check your air pressure with Lincoln's head and a penny. So we just make it so easy. Um, but it really is so important and we talk about it a lot in our business that people will spend more money on shoes pair of tennis shoes than they will on tires and and they're just so important they're what keeps us safe on the road our kids our grandkids all of us that's right not many of us are going to run to Salt Lake <laughs> but very good tell us your locations because this is an ongoing effort today we're out here on a north and a south location but ongoing yeah we got our uh, location Logan 885 North Main and then 165 South here in Providence Okay, so easy to get to Discount Tire, take advantage of these free efforts and the education and get your penny, I guess. I, I just wanted to say one other thing too, we talk about low air pressure, most of the tires have been over inflated, so a lot of times people won't have an air gauge and they'll just look at it and on a radial tire they look low, but that's how they're supposed to run in most cases. So you can't just kind of look at the sidewall and fill it up and expect it to be right. 
because being overinflated is as bad as being underinflated. Very, very good information, and you're giving that to everybody that comes through here. Information's the key, and the service is fantastic. Christy and Scott, thanks so much. Thanks so much, thanks, Laura. Laura.